So once again, we're working on the fix or repair daily, or otherwise known as Ford. And today we are going to replace the condensing unit, the air conditioner condenser. I installed a front trailer mount here, and I do believe during that time I, uh, and I put a new bumper on and the LED lights and uh, redid the plow wires and stuff. So I do believe I pierced my condensing unit somewhere. So it's all hacked up, you can see. So there's air conditioning system stopped working. So I am assuming that needs to be replaced. And even if it doesn't need to be replaced, it needs to be replaced uh, because it's all hacked up in the front. System doesn't work, there's no pressure in it. So we are just going to take it apart and put the new condensing unit in. Hope that fixes it. We'll bring it to a garage, have them recharge the system and go from there. See how it goes. So we gotta remove these plastic, this cover here. The condenser is right up front. I'm also going to take that off and go get a 8 millimeter. actually the plow wires that did it bad yeah, let me show you down in there so show you right inside there so you got my plow wires right here those have definitely vibrated into the coils this here is the power wires to the plow this one down here that's tucked up in there that's all electrical taped that's actually my front jumper cables, hardwire jumper cables I installed. That doesn't seem to be touching it too bad, but you can see there are some abrasions here. And then look here. Looks like these have, uh, this has taken a, taken a beating right there. This whole thing is used and abused. So radiator has a little ding right there. So basically, it's this bracket, this bracket, these two nuts, then the lines come off. These posts should be with the new one. They should come. These are just posts that go into the aluminum block here that the lines to grab onto. So it should come with new ones. Otherwise, I'll have to take these off. So it should be a nice, quick, easy thing. But once I get it out, I'm actually going to wrap up all those wires, tuck them all up in it with some whole bunch of zip ties to open it up. And I'm probably gonna run a garden hose over here or I'll drive the truck over there. And I'm gonna try to rinse off that radiator while I have access in there, clean it all out. So, but yeah, this condenser has uh, seen better days. Let's hope that's the problem. So just to make sure I don't have any pressure in my system I don't think I do. Yeah, very little. That was it. Just a little oof. So, before I take the brackets off here, I'm going to do the wire or the hoses. Looks like that's going to be a 13. It is 13 millimeter. I have a deep 3 8 drive. Okay, they're off now. Let's do the eight millimeter brackets. I have wires zip tied everywhere. So let me go get some 
cutters for the zip ties. And I'm going to get more zip ties to do down bottom to neaten that up. Lift it out. Gotta watch out for the transmission cooler down there. Woo! I think that's a hole. Yep, that's definitely a hole. And you can see where all the pollen sticks to it. That's where all the oil leaked out. Wow, that's in rough shape. That is definitely in rough shape. Wow, I think I know what did it. I know what, I think I know what put that hole in there. Let me show you. Let's go back inside. Get you back on wide angle. Now, if you go in, condensing unit. When I put the front trailer hitch in which is right here for bike racks and stuff sorry to hand hold it but they give you i'm gonna zoom in here the bolts are on these things because you can't get your hand in there so the bolts have those bars on them there make the stop shaking the bolts for the trailer hitch have these bars on them and they're one on each side that one is the one that was inside the condenser. It was jammed up in there. See this one you can see a little bit better right there. Right here. Right there. So the other one is the one who went into the condenser on this side. Cause that's exactly where that hole, that hole was. And it's all black on it right there. You can see all the residual on it. Probably, that's probably what that is. But try to get you to focus. Right there. So I gotta take care of that. I'm gonna wire tie all these wires right up like I did here. This is what I did. This is the plow, or this these are the plows. This is the one that was right up against it. So we're gonna get rid of that, move that too, and get everything super, super tight up front. So this doesn't happen again. And that's where it connects to. So we'll have it professionally vacuumed out and uh, refilled. Put you back on the tripod.
Okay. So the new one did not come with the posts. And now I got to figure out a way to get these out. I might have to heat this up with a torch because they're in there pretty tight. All right, let me see what I could do. Most important thing, let's move this new one. While the posts are cooling off, I'm going to take the O-rings off and go get the new ones. The new one's on. Let's get the new condenser has two plastic rubber plugs in it we gotta take out, but I'll leave those in there until I get it in there. Let's see if it fits, because it looks a little different. Has our, already has some nicks in it, but nothing too bad. Nothing too bad, so let's hope it works. Let's get it in there. Should be good. Let me see if those posts are cool yet. So those got to go in here. So I got it installed. There's all the, tucked all the wires up out of the way. Moved that metal bracket down there. Looks pretty good. Super sunny out and hot. I'm sorry if I'm, can't even see what's in the phone. Put new O-rings on. Had to reuse the, the two posts, but that was easy. Just heat it up with a torch to get out of the old one. Plenty of room. Tucked up all the wires, nothing's touching it. So I just got to put the rubber guard back on and the hood latch. So it's all installed. When I put these back in, I try to put it back in the original dirt marks. So that way my alignment for the hood latch is still the same. And for people that don't know, when you go to recharge these, if you're gonna do it yourself, this is not the fill. The actual fill is actually on, I think it's called a scrubber, air scrubber or something like that. It's actually over here, that's the fill. So, but I gotta make an appointment at the garage so they can vacuum it out and put the a full charge in there so that's something i can't do because i don't have the right uh, equipment for that you gotta get all the moisture condensation and moisture out of these lines otherwise they'll freeze up on you so let them do it the right way the pumps or the 
condensers in. Let's hope it fixes it. It's a nice hot 90 degree day today and I'm out of shade, so. Here's one last look at the old one. You can actually see right there, all that dust that's stuck to it in that hole. See that hole right there? That's all the oil leaking out and the dust stuck to it. Never mind all these other <laughs> random damages to it. So that was definitely leaking. So let's hope that fixes it. Now my favorite part, let's pick up the tools. So I wanted to give you an update on the air conditioner on the 2001 Ford F350. I replaced the condensing unit out front, up in the front here, and I ended up bringing it to a garage. You can see, look at that, nice and neat. No marks in it. So I ended up bringing it to a garage to have them vacuum it out and recharge the entire system, they did. Basically, the way they did that was they put a charge or vacuum on it for 45 minutes just to let it uh, check for leaks, basically, and make sure all the air is out of it. And then they recharged it. So it only cost me $250 to have them do it. And it just reassured me that it was done right. So air conditioner is up and running. So now the next step is I'm going to go on vacation shortly in about two weeks. So I'm gonna take the dump bed out and I'm gonna start getting the truck camper ready. So that'll be coming up in the future. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps you fix your air conditioner. Super easy fix. It was a lot easier than I thought, especially having someone else just do the Freon portion of it, 134A. So thanks for watching guys.